so I was worried I maybe got a ticket because I didn't pay for parking outside of this cafe. But I've just found this. I like your vibe. Maybe you want to grab a drink. Love that. Whenever I travel, tasting the authentic cuisine and local dishes is always the top of my priority list. But I often find it really, really difficult to find the best places to eat and the best restaurants to eat those local foods. But that is why today I've teamed up with Jacqueline, who is the founder of Madeira Food on Foot Tours, and we're going to be checking out the best foods and best places to eat in Funchal. I'm a foodie, I've always been. I like to eat and I like to drink. I was actually born in Madeira, raised in Madeira, spent all my life here, and I've been working as a qualified tour guide for 22 years of my life. I mean, it sounds to me like I'm in the right hands. Sounds good to me. You'll see. Right, let's do it. <laughs> this is the scabbard fish, which is part of the eel family. We're gonna go try it. You're going to have a selection of uh, the best Madeira has to offer. It's like yeah. different types of tapas, fish, meat. Yeah. There you have the bolo do taco. Bolo is the Portuguese for cake because it's round like a cake. But this yeah. is a very, very old and traditional bread from Madeira. And ladies used to cook it on the ground, on a hot stone, on a caco. Ah, See? so that's where the name comes from, caco. Yeah. And it's always served like grilled with garlic butter. It's just a better form of garlic bread. It's better than garlic bread, it is, it really is. So this is the colour yes, exactly. of Madeira and sweet potatoes over here. You've got some passion fruit there, and we've also got the scabbard fish. Mm-hmm. Great combo. And you've got a fried banana. Who would have thought banana went with fish? Really, really good. I like how meaty the fish is and how the sweetness of the fruit complements it. And over here we have octopus. You have a local fresh cheese. Queijo fresco. <laughs> I mean, it's great. It tastes very fresh. I like cheese. It's a good cheese. We only have like two uh, dairy producers that produces local fresh cheese and cottage cheese. And you're going to try them both today. And over here you have a Christmas dish. We all have this in our tables for Christmas. Pork, marinated in white wine, lots of garlic, and we have it with uh, orange at the top. A bit random. Strange combo. It doesn't look the most appealing, if I'm honest. And it's a bit of a weird combination, so I'm very intrigued to see how it tastes. Surprisingly good. Like, who would have thought orange with pork would work? This is the famous espetada. Our espetada always comes with Fried maize. Mm. The beef is seasoned really, really well. The maize adds a nice crunch to it. So let's cheers. Rosé from, Rose from Douro. Douro, south of Portugal. Cheers. So whereabouts are we? Well, we are now in the historic center or the old town. So yeah. This section of Fonchal we have in front of us now is actually part of the oldest section of Madeira, 600 years old. 600? <laughs> yes, so Madeira was officially discovered in 1419. Yeah. So last year we celebrated 600 years of anniversary in this island. And this is the oldest part? Yes. And then as we go along... City extended towards this side. Yeah. Until we get to the cathedral, near the cathedral, which is the city center where we're going to finish our tour. That part of the town could be about, well, 300 years old. <laughs> next we're going to a poncha bar. Poncha bar? Poncha bar, exactly. What is poncha? And poncha is the most popular drink in the island. So it's a drink made with local rum produced in the island. I'm talking about sugarcane rum. And then we add a bit of orange juice, lemon juice and honey. It's a very, very nice bar. I, I imagine this is a great place to come in the evening. Oh, yes. Fantastic. Yeah, for a few drinks. Yeah. Number two is the name of the bar. And this gentleman, his father, 30 years ago, decided to open the first poncha bar to public. Because before that, it was only a fisherman's drink. His father right. was a fisherman. It became a huge success because in Madeira, before 30 years ago, very few people knew what poncha was. <laughs> What's this thing called? Well, in Portuguese, this carelinho. Try to find out. Please, can someone what it stick means. in? The, can somebody please let me know in the comments what? Caralinho. Caralinho mm -hmm. is not that I can use my imagination, but fisherman's poncha. Very strong. It's very strong, and that's because fishermen thought it was a, a remedy, like mm -hmm. a medicinal thing. Yes. 
when they were on the mm -hmm. sea doing their fishing, they used it to stay warm. Yeah, and to prevent colds and flus. It's colds the best thing in the world. So, mm -hmm. if you got COVID, take a sip, you're sorted. <laughs> Ooh, that is delicious. It tastes <laughs> like a better version of a mojito, weirdly. Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow, now you know why this place is so famous. The only one that actually has sugar is the fisherman because none of the others has sugar. Right. All the others is made with fruit juice, rum and honey. Nothing Passion else. fruit, rum and honey. And now let's make a toast, the three of us. Saude! Saude! You know what, I bring my guest here now. Blimey, look at his teeth, look at how white his teeth are! <laughs> Where did you get them done? Turkey! <laughs> See you later! Ciao! You cannot tell you're drinking alcohol. <laughs> it's when you leave that it really hits you all of a sudden. Like I can really tell that I've just drank four punches. <laughs> Until 20 years ago, this side of the town it was not a nice place to be. That's why the government decided to invite local artists to paint the doors along Santa Maria, which is the main street in the old town. And now it's a very charming place to be. It's known for its art galleries. If you're keen of art, this is definitely a place to visit in Madeira. It's one of the most expensive sections of Funchal to live nowadays. Oh, wow. <laughs> Very important tip I have for all of you before you visit the market. You can take all the pictures you wish, but don't buy in the market. We locals, we never buy in the market unless oh. it's a Friday or Saturday morning. During the week, everything they have there in the little stalls in the market, most of those fruits and vegetables are not fresh, are not even from Madeira, wow. and they charge you four or five times more than the farmers that come during Friday. You're joking. Saturday. So this is a this is a tourist trap. <laughs> if you want to buy delicious fruits, then you have to because Madeira is known for its tropical and subtropical fruits. Got it. Just buy them outside on the streets. That's where we buy. We have far cheaper, store. far fresher. Absolutely. At the entrance of the market, you have flower sellers selling some of the most uh, common flowers in Madeira. After all, Madeira is known to be a garden in the Atlantic Ocean, right? In the old days in Madeira, every single lady used to wear those clothes. That's the traditional custom from the island. Ah, I see. In English, it's Castorapol. In Portuguese, it's Anona. It actually comes from South America, from Peru. But obviously, we grow it in the island. So is this right? It is. That's right, yeah, it sound, feels, sounds. It feels yes. soft. That's <laughs> yeah. how you know the punch has got to me. <laughs> yeah. This is an English tomato. I can tell you why English tomato. <laughs> we actually eat it as a fruit. It's very juicy, it's a bit sour, it's not very sweet. It makes the most delicious poncha as well. An English tomato because years ago, everything that we didn't know in the island, we used to say that it was brought in by English people. So they brought, they introduced many things, like this fruit, like many of the flowers we have. What on earth? Is, is this, this thing? <laughs> this is the weirdest looking thing I've ever seen in your life. In this one life, is right. actually right. <laughs> it's known as delicious fruit, forbidden fruit, or love fruit. Ah. Don't ask me why. If you touch it, it appears like that. It just sort of oh dear. falls apart. It just falls off. Yes, that's a sign. It's ready. That to it's eat. ready to eat. It tastes like pineapple. Oh yeah, it's, it smells of pineapple. Mm -hmm. This is a banana passion fruit, and then you've got your... And this is the classic passion fruit. When's it open? It opens every day at 9 in the morning, but it closes at 2 o'clock every day. 2 o'clock okay. every day. Well, the whole market closes at 7, but this place closes at 2 o'clock every day. I don't really know where to start from. <laughs> what we have here is the creation of a, a Madeiran artist. He created this fusion between Belgian chocolate and local products. In a total of 150 participants, he won with that chocolate there. So it's an awarded chocolate. First, we're going to try the passion fruit chocolate, which has the medal, the gold award. Mm -hmm. Tell me that face. Oh, you don't, you, need to, you don't need to say anything. So we've got white chocolate one here. Cherry, I love cherry. So good. And I'll just zip it with some wine, we'll see. They that have, is the perfect combo. Because if you drink material wine just by itself, you're probably not going to like it. Not many people like it, but it depends what you combine with. Thank you so much. You're These are amazing. Wow. So where are we now? Yes, 
We are at in front of Sant Antonio factory dating from 1893. Inside it still has the same furniture, the same floors and they keep it exactly the same way as they used to, to do it. Should we go inside? Of course. The famous Madeira honey cake, which is this cake over here. And this is what we call our Christmas cake as well. Basically made with sugarcane syrup. We add some uh, dried fruits, some spices, kind of a cake that you can keep for six months. And again, it's perfect with a glass of dried Madeira wine. Madeira no, I thought this cake. was an English thing. Yeah. I knew you we were going to say that because your Madeira cake has nothing to do with what we call Madeira cake. Our Madeira cake is actually dark and it comes from a sugar cane syrup. We uh, add a lot of syrup to our cake. So thick mm -hmm. and rich. Mm -hmm. Very rich. Those spices and those um, dry fruits. This is the only way to describe it. There's just so much going on. Yeah. You have to try this because it, it's totally different to what you're used to tasting. And here we have some of the best sellers. We have hazelnut biscuits, passion fruit biscuits. Passion fruit yeah. biscuit. <laughs> It just hits you instantly. It's passion fruit. It's just amazing that you guys just stick passion fruit in everything. If you guys enjoy passion fruit, why are you not in Madeira? Another present for you. I give it to all my guests. Mm. <laughs> I Look, do. We are going to end up <laughs> fat after this. Brits love biscuits. We dip them in our tea, yeah. so we ruin them. Really? But I don't think I'm going to be dipping these in tea. Let me know if you guys dip your biscuits in tea. Let me know in the comments if that's something that you do, because British people love to do that. Uh, it's like a cultural thing. Do you know um, what? Next, we're going to a tea house. Going to a tea house? Yes. Why not? You can always try to dip that up in tea. Maybe we'll do that. We are in the city centre now. So this is where you have all the, the nicest shops in Got the it. city. Yeah. And shops are daily open until 7, except Sunday. Everything closes in Madeira on Sunday and Saturday afternoon as well. Everything is closed after sure. 1 o'clock. So all along this street in the old town, you'll see these barrels which are reflective of what's sold within the shop. So you'll see shoes for children, a hairdressing salon, or even some women's shoes, which will have, you know, a leg just coming out of a barrel. So if you want to know where to get your spices from, if you are living here or you're just on a trip and you want to cook some flavorsome, aromatic, spicy meals, this is the spot to come to. Picture of... King Eri the Navigator. Him. That financed some of the most important Portuguese expeditions. And so this is definitely one of the best places to buy your spices. To buy your spices. Here we are at uh, the Yellow Square. The yellow Square. Yes, you can tell why. <laughs> but it's also known as Christopher Columbus Square. Came to Madeira even before discovering America. He fell in love with a local girl and he married to a Portuguese. Apparently he lived here somewhere on the street. Nobody knows exactly where. We have come to our final spot, which is a tea shop. Yes. Tea shop, tell us about what we've got here then. We have a selection of four different types of teas. Portugal produces tea. This one over here, it's the black tea from Azores Islands. Azores is volcanic in origin, just like Madeira. For that reason, the soil is very acid, which gives a certain sweetness to black teas and green teas that makes them slightly different from the Chinese black and green teas. And we've got... You've got a strawberry. Ooh, strawberry uh, yes. tea. <laughs> Smells amazing. Oh, it doesn't have the bitterness at all. No bitterness. No. You don't even taste that it's green tea. It's like a different kind of tea. Mm -hmm. It's fragrant almost. Very fragrant. If you've been to Portugal or yeah. anywhere in the world where there's Portuguese living, for sure you'll find the Portuguese tarts. The pastel, pastel de nata. De nata. Yes. yes, or custard tarts. Custard tart. So I have tried these pastel donatas in Lisbon. If you haven't already seen my Lisbon video, you can click on the link up here. There's a card there. So check that one out. I mean, it has that beautiful outer crust, that crunch. It's got that sweetness. It's what we cheesecake. call cottage cheese tart. Similar, but it's actually made with cottage cheese produced in Madeira Island. But our cottage cheese, it's thick. It's not liquid like yours. So it makes this beautiful tart and it's served with red fruit jam. Yeah. Cottage cheese. Mm. Wow. It's interesting because it has more of the cheesiness that a cheesecake lacks. I am pleasantly surprised. It is definitely different to a cheesecake. You've got to try it to understand. <laughs>
And that was our last stop at Tea House Madeira. It was fantastic, but that has been it for the tour. And honestly, this has been a really amazing experience. It's not even just been a food tour. I feel like I've had a really comprehensive tour of Funchal about Madeira. Obviously, I've not included all of that in this video because this would be a four hour video, <laughs> but oh I've learned so much. It was a pleasure. I just feel like I took my friend around the city. I just made a new friend now. So guys, if you want to check this out, obviously click the link here or the description below. So when you want to book your tour to Madeira, come to Funchal, learn about the foods. Anyway, make sure you hit that thumbs up button, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell button so you get notified for the rest of this Madeira series. And I'll see you guys next week.